here's a question because I don't know that the movie necessarily tells you and I don't know if the sequels kind of explain it any better and I was trying to think about it a little bit what is the purpose of this mission oh they're coming space back. stuff yeah they're coming back from I think it's a can they do it you know what I mean they went sure. all the way back they didn't do anything did, yeah I, it's not like they got samples or anything or doesn't seem well, I got a sense that it was like because they do talk about like she was going to be like uh, they were going to mate with her. Right? I think no, but I think that that line is about the situation they found themselves in when they crash land on the planet. Because like, they think okay. it's a different Beca- planet. Yeah. Because the feeling I got was that they were like shit was so bad on Earth. They were like, look, we got to send just groups of people off this planet. They're going to come back a long fucking time from now yeah. as compared to <laughs> us. Yeah, and then yeah, maybe yeah. they can make it work after all of <laughs> this, right. this fucked is- up. <laughs> Yes, the political strife in America. They just sent people off. To just like to, because we're, we're, we're nobody's being able to fuck in this fucking time period. Yeah, get them all off because it is that. That was kind of my problem the first time. I was like, I don't understand what this thing is. Like, yeah. everybody has a reason for doing with this space. Well, like, he like, has a line like after it crashes in the lake, <clears throat> they get out of it, and he has some line to the two surviving astronauts like. Well, we won't be getting this back up in the air. Yeah. So I was like, all right, they were intending on leaving whatever planet they think no, they're on. They're supposed to go to they're supposed to when he's land he's going to Earth. He wants to go to Earth. Yes. Whatever yeah. the mission was is over. And it's it's now we're just gonna go to Earth and we'll get a fucking parade, I guess, or whatever. And <laughs> okay. then they crash land on this planet, which spoiler it is Earth. Yes. And that's I think that's where all that stuff is. We'll never get it back up again. So right. we're, we're we're marooned here. On this, and I think okay. the Eve thing is again like she's since we're marooned, somebody's got to procreate. But right. She's but a so skeleton. They None thought they were that. light years off course. I think that, right? that is just such a fucking. I mean, that is just an American thing. First things first. How are we going to overpopulate this planet? <laughs> yep, that's right. Let's, let's get this right <laughs> off the bat. Right. And you know what? It goes exactly into the fucking ape tenets that we hear about later yeah. when they're reading the thing. And it's like, do not trust human beings. They will just fuck mm-hmm. until there's yeah. too many of them and they will destroy they'll your land. You know what, guard into a, not, I love the line. They'll turn a guard, not only their home into a desert, but your home. Uh, into yes. a desert. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You know what else behaves that way? A virus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say Mr. Smith and he's just talking to himself and I don't want to do I'm so lonely in this <laughs> matrix without Mr. Anders well, there, you know, it's, there time for me to, it's time for me to make some self accounting here <laughs> it's time for me to take some of the responsibility for what happened but, yeah, but it, it is a cool notion. Yes, obviously humanity is like that. You take a look around the planet. Mm-hmm. Hell, you walk around a fair street in this city. <laughs> doesn't it seem like a lot? It seems, it seems like too much. It seems like there's a lot of people. It's a lot. It's a lot. I, this, this is too maybe many cooks. too many cooks. I oh, think God. we need some type of. No, we already had a big event that. Yeah, we're fine. But we're, I we're want to mention the lives it. of the patrons are my favorite. <laughs> of course, <laughs> those are, are the, best the best lives. Those are the only ones that are worth a damn. <laughs> um, yeah, this uh, this er- part of it, when from when they get out of the uh, crash to when they are finally found in the cornfields, yeah, is maybe my favorite part of this. Yeah, because it is so uh, uh, one of my favorite movies, uh, Robinson Crusoe on Mars. No, never saw. Uh, oh yes it's very similar to this yeah good uh, call. very uh one man on mars like has to figure out how to it's like the proto the martian kind of he has it to figure out is, yeah a, a lot a lot fewer uh one-liners to, yeah to not video as snappy blogs. not <laughs> not so much donald glover um it's it, it, but it, this i love this idea of like just how much of exploring is just walking through nothing yeah. at that point yep. when you have no plan or anything like this when you're actually lost is it's just wandering right and they're just like taking stock of the water oh only eight ounces left no i don't need a drink yeah. Yeah. instead i'll smoke a another stoke <laughs> that'll surely quench my thirst my this mouth sentence is through <laughs> mouth to back i have well i have a brushed my teeth in about 3,000 years. What's another <laughs> cigar on the ash pile? You, you know what? My mouth isn't dry enough. <laughs> we gotta get some smoke in there. I, oh. And I am a cigar smoker. I love it. 
Good God, that sounds horrible. Like that sounds <laughs> in the middle true. of the desert after hiking for days yes. and not having any water. Yeah. Yep. By the way, there there's the uh, lifeboat thing that they escape with. Also, cool shots of the yes. uh, shuttle like sinking. Sinking, and I love yeah. it. Land that this is going, going, gone, which I love. <laughs> going, going, gone. There are great uh, moments of just. They're so fucking calm. Like mm-hmm. this is. I can never be an explorer. They're just like, well, this craft is sinking into this lake. Let's get all the supplies out really yeah. quickly. And they're just like going through it. Heston's like up to his fucking balls in water, just calmly getting <laughs> yeah. stuff off shelves. There's some line about like, don't forget the bag. It's the groceries. And uh, Landon <laughs> is like kind of looking out at the fucking water. And he's like, Landon, join the expedition. And this is when he starts <laughs> fucking with him. Hey, he's, Landon. The, the fucking with him is exquisite. It's incredible fucking with somebody. And like, uh, he goes like, Land is like, oh man, Stuart, what do you think happened? He's like, well, there was probably like an air problem and she died. And it's like, it's a little late to have a wake. She's been dead a year. And I'm like, dude, can this, <laughs> maybe this guy has like any fucking soul whatsoever. Maybe, no. maybe Landon and Stuart yeah. were fucking bumping uglies, man. You don't know Taylor. What you do you asshole. mean? Those two ice cubes rubbing up against each other? <laughs> no, maybe they were like astronauts, you know, and they yeah. had a previous relationship. Right. Oh, astronauts. Fuck. That's oh, absolutely. one thing we know about. This is like being in the, the Olympic Village. You know what I mean? Right. Like, oh, yeah. Everyone's getting up to uh, that's it. That's just like the super spreader event for mm-hmm. All kinds of STDs. <laughs> oh, people, you hear you hear tales about the Olympic villages over the years, dude. Oh yeah, it's just a fucking. It's a two week long. Hey, game bag. how about focus on goals and not holes? <laughs> all right, <laughs> we, all the athletes have left. Get the power washers on. <laughs> oh yeah, we yeah. need to scrape this shit off the I walls. I think that's why a lot of these fucking cities they fucking demolish those yeah. things once yeah. the, the Olympics uh, are out of there. Like, yeah. we can't fucking sell this. No, the sex swings alone. You know what I mean? Let's just <laughs> burn it down. If you like what you just heard and want to hear the rest of this episode, go to patreon.com slash we hate movies and sign up. You'll get this episode along with all sorts of other exclusive Patreon content, as well as a unique RSS feed that can be used with the podcast app of your choice. Patreon.com slash we hate movies. Check it out.